O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Let all on earth their voices raise, re-echoing hands triumphant praise, to him who gave the apostles grace, to run on earth their glorious race. Thou art whose word they bore the light, Of gospel truth a heathen night, To us that heavenly light impart, To glad our eyes and cheer our heart. Thou art whose will to them was given, To bind and loose in earth and heaven, Our chains unbind, our sins undo, and in our hearts I grace renew. Thou in whose might they spoke the word, which cured disease and health restored, to us its healing power prolong, support the weak, confirm the strong. As he was passing by, Jesus saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, and he called them both. O God, you are my God, you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. I a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. Your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse to the night. For you have been my help. In the share of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts both now and forever. Amen. As he was passing by, Jesus saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, and he called them both. At once leaving their nets and their father, they followed him. O all your works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you the heavens of the Lord, oh bless the Lord. And you clouds of the sky, oh bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, the stars of the heavens, O oh, bless the Lord. 
and you shall and reign, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord. And you fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you frosts and cold, O bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you mountains and hills, O bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you rivers and seas, O bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you children of men, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise for ever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise for ever. At once, leaving their nets and their father, they followed him. You will drink from the chalice that I shall drink, and you will be baptised as I shall be baptised. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let sons and exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and tongue. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. And a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. You will drink from the chalice that I shall drink, and you will be baptised as I shall be baptised.
Some Christ is appointed to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists or pastors or teachers. They are to order the lives of the faithful, minister to their needs, build up the frame of Christ's body until we all realise our common unity through faith in the Son of God and fuller knowledge of him. So we shall reach perfect manhood, that maturity which is proportioned to the completed growth of Christ. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and enter among the nations. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and enter among the nations. Speak of his wonderful deeds to all the peoples. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answered among the nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Tell of the glory of the Lord, and answered among the nations. Jesus took Peter, James, and John the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain, where they were alone, and in their presence he was transfigured. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would lead us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Jesus took Peter, James, and John the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain where they were alone, and in their presence he was transfigured. Since we have received from the apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all these blessings. Lord the apostles, sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood, handed on by the apostles, to give us strength and life. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the table of your word, served by the apostles, to bring us light and joy. 
Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For your holy church built on the apostles to make us all one body. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance entrusted to the apostles to cleanse our hearts from sin. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you accepted the sacrifice of St. James, the first of your apostles, to give his life for your sake. May your church find strength in his martyrdom, and supported in his constant prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.